Hi everyone, I'm Brad from 13 Adventures. Today I'm going to show you how to install the new battery box and utility door lock set from Airgear. Join me. For our application today, this trailer has three boxes. The battery box up front, the shower door, and the water fill station door. We're going to start with the battery box door. You may want to remove your propane tanks and propane tank cover to make this easier to access. Following your instructions, it says remove the acorn nut, but depending on the model you have, it could be a screw. Typically, this is a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. And then a basic set of pliers to remove the retaining nut. And then that comes out easily. The first step in determining which cam you need is to compare your old lock to the new lock. The cam on this one is almost identical in length, but Air Gear is going to send you a separate extra long cam and you might need to install that one. And it's as simple as replacing the cam that's on here now. So I know that my, my standard long cam is going to work for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the acorn nut. Then I'm going to remove the cam. Then I'm going to remove the retaining nut and ensuring that your washer stays intact. I'm going to insert that into the slot. Then I'm going to reinstall the retaining nut, making sure to get it only hand tight. Then I'm going to install the cam and then install the acorn nut finger tight. The next step is to verify that you have it installed correctly. And the best way to do that is to take your key, insert the key into the lock, and turn the lock and verify that it locks and unlocks in the appropriate direction for the application that you have. Once you have verified that the lock is installed properly, then you need to take your pliers or wrench and tighten down your retaining nut. Now that should only be tightened one quarter turn past where it is for hand tight. The purpose of that is so that you do not compress the washer so much that it pushes out and then water gets in your box. From there, we want to tighten the acorn nut as necessary. And then we're going to confirm operation again. Now I know that my box is locked appropriately. Over here at the side utility doors, I have the shower door and the water fill station. First thing I'm going to do is take my key and open both of these doors up. Then I'm going to grab my flathead tip screwdriver. While pushing on the back of the lock, you take your flathead tip and push in one side and it will partially come out. Then take the other side and push that in and the lock will completely come out. And we're going to repeat the process here. The next step is to grab your new utility locks from Air Gear. The one with a long cam is going to fit the shower door. And the one with a very short cam is going to fit the water door. Step A is to remove the acorn nut, move your cam, then remove your retaining nut. Ensuring that your washer is in place, insert it into the hole, then you attach your retaining nut. Again, it should be only finger tight. Then you install your cam, then you install your acorn nut. Before you go any further, op check your lock to make sure that it operates the correct way. Then we can tighten down our retaining nut one quarter turn past the finger tight. And then we'll tighten down our acorn nut as necessary. Installing the lock and the shower door is exactly the same as the water fill door. Ensure your washer's in place, put it in the hole, put on your retaining nut, finger tight. Put on your cam and then put on your acorn nut. Put your key in and check it. And then tighten everything down. Starting with your retaining nut one quarter turn beyond where the finger tight was. And then your acorn nut as necessary. And then close it and check it. All the locks installed and now you have a very secure, very good looking set of utility doors and battery box. Thanks for joining me on this tutorial today. Happy camping, everyone.